Hey guys, let's take a look at Hasbro's Lightning Collection figures so far. So when I started this video, it was late at night. I put together like this big scene with all the figures. And I, I guess it was so late that maybe there were a couple of errors here and there, maybe a few things that didn't belong in the scene. I was gonna use it, but Mia thought it was too distracting. I don't think it's noticeable, but I'll show you guys anyway. You can let me know if you see anything that, that might be incorrect or doesn't belong. Let me know what you guys think. Here it is. I guess you guys will tell me in the comments, did you see anything that looked wrong or incorrect, mismatched, out of place? It, it all seemed okay to me, but I guess you guys will let me know. Here, look one more time. Yeah, I'd be shocked if anybody found more than one or two things wrong with that scene. Take that, Mia Team Bruno. All right, anyway. So one thing I really like about Hasbro's, uh, well, two lines is this is the main line Tronic figure and here's a putty from the Lightning Collection and they're about exactly the same size. Uh, I mean, this one looks like it's a, well, less expensive figure. You know, this has better articulation, but they are the same size. They can they can be in the same scene together and they won't really look out of place. Also, same thing with the figures. So, like, here is Lightning Collection. Here is the regular line. So take a look. Here is the Beast Morpher figures with red and gold Lightning Collection. And then here are just the regular set from the main line for the $10 figures. Red and gold Lightning. Red and gold Main Line. Red and gold Lightning. Red and gold Main Line. Lightning Collection is, of course, going to give you more articulation. You get the civilian heads, you get the cool effects pieces. I really like this one. But, uh, yeah, you can definitely mix and match, and it doesn't look terribly out of place. I mean, you can tell which one is which, but not really, you know? If you're having trouble finding Lightning Collection figures, here are a couple places you can try. I haven't been to Kmart or Fred Meyer since the Lightning Collection came out. Does anybody know if they sell them? We actually still have a Kmart near us, but I think it's going out of business in December. Does anybody still have Kmart besides us? I don't think Kmart's doing so well. But <laughs> Lately, I've been getting most of my Lightning Collection from either GameStop, pre-order, uh, Hasbro Pulse, or Amazon. Amazon, actually, for if you want more than one, some of these have been very cheap, like $7 for Shadow Ranger. I think it's gone up since, but Keep your eye on Amazon, direct links are always in the video description right below the video. So as your collection gets bigger and bigger, you're gonna to start to get a lot of little pieces, different hands, little weapons, effects pieces, heads, and what do you do with all that stuff when they're not attached to your figure? I get these little tiny bags. I'll put a direct link in the video description. And that way, everything stays nice and organized. So here's four Tommy heads, here's Kimberly stuff, 
You can take a little marker and label them so you know what's what. Goldar's extra hands, uh, Green Ranger stuff, Magna Defender, Doggy Kruger. Make sure you don't lose his morpher or his little neck piece right here. Lots of good little pieces that you don't want to lose. Nate's gun is pretty small, so I would very much recommend these. You can get them at Walmart too. They're like little jewelry bags, Psycho Rangers. These bags have changed my life. I have them in so many different sizes. They have so many different uses. The more sizes you get, the more things you'll realize need to be put in, <laughs> put in bags and stored. Lord Zed, you don't want to lose this growth bomb. So anyway, I thought I'd thought I'd share that. Leo can fit in his jet jammer. Isn't that fantastic? This is from Bandai America back in 1999 when Lost Galaxy was airing. Let go. All right, he's not gonna let go. He's in there now. Another tip, sometimes the hands can not wanna uh, bend, so I do warm them with the hairdryer. Yes, hot water works too, but when it's something like this, you're not gonna wanna stick this in, in a thing of water. Just use a hairdryer. So this video represents all the Lightning Collection figures currently available in the US. Uh, Blade October for Mighty Morphin Black Ranger with Dragon Shield, that's supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive. I believe the UK and Canada already got theirs. I know some of you guys already have your Black Ranger armored figure, but Walgreens, October, late October for the US. I'd like to welcome and thank our new patrons. And once again, huge thank you to the patrons that have been with us already. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap up here. I know it's been a little while since we posted. We are working on lots of cool stuff though, so stay tuned. We do have some good stuff coming. Uh, regarding the stuff that's going on with YouTube and part of the reason why we do have a Patreon now, we have talked about that a few times on the vlog channel, if you guys are interested. Uh, otherwise, we'll eventually do a proper video for Patreon over here, but not tonight. Just wanna to show you guys what is currently available with Lightning Collection, GameStop, Hasbro Pulse, Walmart, Target, Amazon, many, many places sell these, so they, they shouldn't be hard to find. I would recommend pre-ordering from Hasbro Pulse or GameStop if you have trouble finding stuff. I know some people have trouble with GameStop, but the GameStops we have here have been really good. And if it's not in the store, you could try their website. Anyway, I'm gonna end here, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with any good videos, and good night. Direct links, always in the video description.